Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to your second tutorial in Backbone.js. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to start using models. So as we left in the last lesson, we have our website that simply says hello. We refresh it, it still says hello. So let's go into our freaking editor. And what I did here was add an extra JavaScript file called rjavascript.js. So I have it open right here and it's empty, totally empty. So now just to make sure that we added the file correctly, let's use our jQuery that I am assuming you know. And let's do document.ready function. And after this, so let me, if you really don't know what jQuery is, what this does right here is that it waits for the website to be fully loaded for this to take effect. So in here we can put console log hello mom. Or actually let's just make an alert. It's gonna be cooler. Alert hello dog doggy. We save that. It's added right here. Let's go to our website. Oh that's not our website. That's our website. We refresh and there we go. Hello doggy. So now we can go back to our mm, 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 our that's not it. This our index.html file and we don't really care about this file. Let's work on our JavaScript file. So now that we have this right here, let's get, let's get started on the model. So Backbone has a an object oriented structure and what I mean by object oriented is that every variable that you create is an object. Let me explain a little further. For example, I'm gonna create a variable called I don't know um, website model and we're gonna set that equal to a backbone model and all, all you have to do that is say backbone model oh sorry it's backbone dot model dot extend and with this command <coughs> you are telling that with this website model what we called it we want to extend from a backbone model so we want to make this a backbone model after that we can have an initialize tag so we can type initialize we say it's a function, initialize is going to be a function, and we do our regular JavaScript notation. So Backbone has a bunch of default tags that are going to be, yeah, they're default, they, they happen, and that's how Backbone.js is built. So this initialize tag, what it does is that whenever you create a website model, this initialize tag is going to happen. To give you an example, let's do let's move our alert from here to here. And now, let's instead of calling another alert, let's create another website model. So we say variable uh I don't know, page 1 is going to be to a website model, a new website model. New website model and we're gonna leave it like that now when this website model gets created this initialize is gonna get called and this is gonna happen let's see what happens here um, so we refresh this and there we go hello doggy and to make sure that to make sure that this hello doggy is getting called let's change the name to hello mommy Let's refresh the page, and there we go, hello mommy. So there we go, that's our introduction to how to create backbone models and how the initialize tag works. I'll see you guys, la see you guys later for the next tutorial, and I'm going to talk about attributes in the next tutorial. I'll see you later.